G'day. In today's video, I purchased a non-powering Note 20 Ultra. For just under 200 Australian dollars. With the issue of not powering. I'm hoping to find this is going to be a relatively simple fix. It may not. And if it's not, I'm going to have a spare screen anyway for stock. And the phone here. Unsealed bag. Air condition of the screen. Acceptable. Charging port looking okay. Yeah, I suspect the back may have been off this once upon a time. Might try it on a wireless charger and see what happens. Sadly we are missing the pen also. Let's just see for the hell of it. What's going on here? Power plugged in. Hmm. 1.17 amps. No life on screen. Pretty bizarre to be pulling that amount of amps. We can't quite see it. Now you may be able to. Up here. Pretty bizarre to be pulling that amount of amps without actually charging a battery. So to me that says the charging port's fine. But I'll open it up and try a bit more. It does make me curious if it may be the screen, even though it does look to be okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that it is okay. Heat it up, open it up. Been cooking at 70 degrees now for around about, ooh, about 10 minutes now. And going by how this is coming apart, this has been opened definitely once before. And I'm almost skeptical that this may be a replacement back cover as that just basically fell off for me. I'm looking at it, not seeing anything, any signs of the obvious, but I might just tear it, take it apart completely. Granted, if there is usually major faults, I'm not really going to be able to see it. Yeah, I'll start by disconnecting the motherboard, or at least the power to the motherboard. Pretty sure I've got another one of these floating around for parts, so I may be able to connect that main board up into that one. and. See if it will display on there, and if it's actually the screen that's faulty. It seems bizarre to get such a nice, decent reading of amperage of charging, but not actually turn on or display. And usually the only time I see when it gets really good charging is when the um, screen is broken. And it shows no signs of life, but then it's connected to a computer and it's nice and happy. I was hoping that it was just simply that it, the charging port was clogged up. But I would say this, the seller of this one may also work in phone refurbing and fixing. And they have already attempted that themselves. Yeah, apologies, my voice sounds slightly different today. I'm coming down with a cold. Done a COVID test the other day. Not COVID. The throat isn't feeling too great. And also being the middle of winter here in Australia, nice and cold today so my fingers are frozen even with the heat pad down here yeah. should lift up battery should lift up disconnect 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 Oh. And some ejectors on the top. 
Not too sure on this model. Just to sand them down the bottom nowadays. And we should be able to lift up. Yeah, I'm having a look at the board. So therefore that looks too dodgy. Doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem. Or isn't a problem. Next up I'll take these screws down here. And I reckon I'll just do a full swap into a broken but known working display. And see what it may do from there. To my eyes, the charging port does look to be fine. Next up, one battery. A bit of isopropyl alcohol down there, and a bit of a lift. Easy. Now I found my broken one. I don't think I'll need to really mark that this one is the broken one, looking at that crack right here. So I've put this aside and I'm going to loosely drop most of this back in. Yeah. My tweezers, they'll be handy. I did have a couple other screens that I thought were Note 20 Ultras, but it turns out they were not, so I'm not sure what they were actually. As they did look very similar to this one, except the video cable on it was removable. This one is fixed. Couldn't really cut, track down a model number on there. For the sake of argument, that's it there. Looks reasonably similar, so I'm not sure what... It's not a Note 10, as it have done some Note 20s recently. So I'm left confused as to what it is. Anyway, I'll progress with this. Uh, charging port needs to go in first. And over the top there's the board. These ones I will screw in, as they are reasonably structural. Don't really want to jam in a charging port and have it push all the way inside. Screw that into position. Remember where I've put the battery. And move these out of the way. Put that in. And go one, two, three. Oh, that battery is dangling for a second. This back in down the bottom here. This one up the top, connect up the front facing camera. Reconnected. Push down, push down. I guess I'll connect up the battery. Normally you want to hold that off till last, but <clears throat> with the next one covering it up, I probably should at least. There we go, connected. Push. One over here too. Push. That is everything reconnected. I bring out my amps reader again. Plug it in. See if we get any signs of life. 
One amp. And we have charging, apparently. So I'd say even though it was listed as a good screen, it certainly does not seem to be a good screen. This one. So I'd say there's something a bit more going on with that one. Sadly, it doesn't have the removable connector to double check that. I'm just gonna leave it here for a second and see if it wakes up. So sadly for me, the most expensive part, the most expensive part on this phone is the part that's not working. As you can see, I've got it on the damaged screen here, and this is going just fine with this broken display. So I was hoping at, at, at least the screen itself would be usable, but it turns out the screen itself must have suffered some form of shock damage or potential liquid damage as the moisture indicator on the loudspeaker had actually had a red, turned red, which means moisture has gotten down there, and that may have killed the screen. So far this screen does seem to be operating just fine, so I haven't had any touch issues. I've had little minor display issues on there, where it's got like a thin line going across the, across the top there. But apart from that, not quite an eBay win. But being this is such a high-end phone, I'd potentially be able to put this up back on Facebook Marketplace and sell it for what exactly I purchased it for, which was only a couple of hundred Australian dollars. So fingers crossed I can sell that, recoup my money, and then roll the dice again at a later stage. Anyway. That will do for today, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.